Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. I just tried to record this video and I completely failed, but I figured it out now, so hopefully this one will work better. This is part two to the tiling system for like uh, for any kind of a sandbox game. And this is probably the last part to this tutorial series, but uh, what I wanted to show you how to do is to be able to add and destroy tiles in the room and make sure that it's snapping so that you can't destroy or you can't add them in weird spots so that the tiles snap. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our dirt object here that we already created. Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen the other part of this, make sure you go watch that first because you'll be lost if you haven't. So we're going to come into here and we're going to right click on our create event and we're going to duplicate this event. Now the reason is because we need to, because the create event code, if you remember, checks whether there's an object around us. Well, now we need to be doing that in a step event as well because this could be t this could be changing dynamically during the game, so we need to be constantly checking that. So that's the first thing we need to do. Second thing we need to do is add a mouse and a right button, mouse right button. So whenever we right click on these objects, we're going to do what? We're going to destroy them so that we can destroy the tiles that we put in the room. Instance destroy. Awesome. Okay, now the last thing we need to do, well actually let's run it real fast and we can look at it and see. So you can see I can right click on these objects, they dynamically update so that the tiles always look good no matter what that looks like. So that's pretty awesome. Now we're going to create another object and we're going to call this object, uh, let's call it object globals. And what we're going to do in this object is we're going to do a mouse event and this is going to be a global mouse left button and inside of here we're going to do a special code that makes sure that we are uh, that make sure we're not placing a, a tile on top of another tile because if we do it if we do them in the same exact position then the tiling system won't work the checks won't work so we've got to do if position, wait, let's see, if not, position, meeting, mouse x, so that's the mouse position, mouse y, so we're checking if there's one, if to make sure that there's not one where the mouse is, and we're checking to make sure there's not a dirt object where the mouse is. Now, what are we going to do in here? We're going to do some really fancy snapping code. And how this works is we're going to do, whoa, instance, create, and then what you'll do here is you'll do floor, mouse, x, divided by 32, floor, mouse, y, divided by 32, object, dirt. And that should be good. So what this code does, what this code right here does, is the first part makes sure that the place is empty, so we're not putting an object where there's already another one. The second one, it uh, the best way that I can use to explain it is when we do the floor, what it does. Let's say you're at position 32, 32. So x 32, y 32. If you floor that, um, that rounds down always. So we divide by 32 and that gives us 1. If we floor that, that gives us 1 as well. But let's say you're at 35 and 35. Well, we divide by 32 and that's going to give us 1 in a little bit and then we're going to round down to 1 anyways. So we know that even though we're a little bit more than 32, we're actually in that same tile, the, the first tile in the room. So that's what that code does. So let's run this and make sure it works. Wait, uh, you want to make sure and put the object in the room, the global object. Okay, so that clearly didn't work because, oh yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. I, uh, well, what I forgot to do is I forgot to, we, we floored it, but right after you floor it, you have to times it by 32 again so that you actually put the block. You're finding what position it is in the what tile it is in the room and then you times it by 32 to put it at that actual position. So I apologize for that. So yeah, now you can see we can place them in the room. You can just hold down the thing. They automatically update 
for where they're supposed to be and if we hold right we can destroy them as well so that's really awesome this is one of my favorite types of things to do um, you could you could probably combine this with my platform example you just have to make sure and check for the player as well so you don't create blocks on him because that would kind of cause glitches but yeah so there you go thank you guys for watching and I'll have more tutorial videos next week I really appreciate your feedback make sure you press that thumbs up button down there that always helps me a lot share these on Facebook you know with your friends anybody that likes to design games and wants to learn a little bit more and I really appreciate you guys make sure and follow me on Twitter and I'll talk to you guys later